Hi friends, Mrs. Leach again, just checking in, um, checking in on your progress on your ABC books. And um, just a reminder that your ABC books are due by Sunday and um, your individual classroom teacher will let you know how they want you to share your book with them. Um, it might be taking pictures. It also might be by reading your book and making a little video for your teacher. So make sure you check in and uh, look for instructions from your own teacher about that. But let's go over the expectations one last time and you can just do a quick check-in and see how you're doing on these. So again, make sure your book has a theme Make sure that each page has the letter and what the letter stands for. Have an illustration. And make sure you've written four sentences, a four sentence paragraph for each letter. And then at the, um, either as you're going, that would be great, or at the end, make sure you do a final check through. Make sure you've checked uh, for correct spelling and punctuation and capitalization. Um, just a way to kind of celebrate coming to the end of this project. I thought I would share with you um, a couple more pages from a third grade sample and then I thought I would close by sharing a Jerry Pallotta ABC book with you. This is from a third grade friend in their animal book. So every page has an animal on it and facts about that animal. L, and there's their very cute lizard. L stands for lizard. Lizards look like iguanas but smaller. Some lizards can detach their tail to escape from predators. There are over 5,600 different types of lizards in the world. M, M stands for mouse. A mouse has whiskers. They are like a rat. Mice have a long tail. Mice are scared of cats because cat, cats eat mice. Narwhal. N stands for narwhal. Narwhal's front tooth grows on the top lip. Narwhals travel in pods. A long time ago, people used to sell a narwhal's tusk for a lot of money. O. O is for ostrich. Ostriches have a long neck. They run fast. When an ostrich is mad, it dances. Ostriches are the biggest bird in the world that is not extinct. So, nice work. All right, let's read a Jerry Pallotta book. This one is called The Ocean Alphabet Book. is for alphabet book. A is also for Atlantic Ocean. The fish and other creatures in this book live in the North Atlantic Ocean. B. B is for bluefish. Everyone loves to catch bluefish because they love to fight. Their teeth are very, very sharp, so don't ever put your fingers in their mouth. C is for cod. Cod can be found everywhere in the North Atlantic Ocean. Some grow to be as big as a 10-year-old boy or girl. D is for dogfish. They are also known as spiny dogfish. They are little sharks. Every dogfish has a barb on its back and a barb on its tail. E. E is for eel. Eels are slimy. Eels are long and thin like snakes. If you do not like to hold snakes, then you probably would not like to hold eels. F is for fiddler crab. Most crabs have claws that are the same size. The fiddler crab has one big claw and one tiny claw. Ooh. G is for goosefish. A goosefish 
is ugly looking. It has lots of teeth. Its mouth is as wide as its body. Goosefish are also called monkfish. H is for haddock. A haddock looks a lot like a cod. Behind the haddock's side fin, there's a dark spot that looks like a fingerprint. I is for inkfish. Inkfish is another name for squid. Squid spray ink to scare away fish that attack them. J is for jellyfish. Jellyfish are soft, gooey, and see-through. Their dangling arms can sting if you, if you touch them. K. K is for killer whale. Killer whales are mammals. They are not fish. They're very beautiful and can jump completely out of the water. L. L is for lobster. Lobsters are reddish green and blue. When they are cooked, they turn bright red. They have two claws that can pinch. They have eight legs, and they also have two antennas that help them find out where they are. M. M is for minnow. Minnows are little fish. Usually they are only as big as your fingers. They can usually be found in shallow waters, marshlands, and creeks. N. N is for northern puffer. If you touch a puffer, it will blow itself up like a balloon. O. O is for octopus. This octopus is scary looking, but it will not hurt you. It has eight arms. Can you imagine shaking hands with an octopus? It would take all day. P. P is for periwinkle. Periwinkles live inside shells. They can be found on rocks at low tide. Some people call them snails. Q. Q is for quahog. Quahogs are clams that have hard shells. Seagulls manage to open them all by themselves. Small quahogs are called cherry stones and little necks. R. R is for redfish. Redfish are caught in very deep water. They are oily and lobstermen use them as bait to catch lobsters. S is for scallop. Scallops are like clams and they have pretty shells. There are many other creatures whose name begins with S. Sharks, sculpins, salmon, sand dollars, sunfish, smelt, sea snails, skates, shrimp, and starfish. T. T is for tuna. Everybody has heard of tuna. When they are grown up, they are almost as big as cars. That's big. U. U is for urchin. Urchins are round with hundreds of sharp little spines sticking out of their shells. If you're barefoot, try not to step on one. V is for viper fish. Viper fish live in deep dark waters. They have lights inside their mouth and along their sides to attract food. W is for wolf fish. Wolf fish have large teeth and strong jaws that are used to open their favorite foods. Quahogs, scallops, clams, and mussels. X. We cannot think of any fish whose name begins with the letter X. Can you? Whoops. We found one. X is for Xiphius gladius pronounced, oops, I said it wrong, Xiphius. This is a scientific name for swordfish. Y is for yellowtail flounder. Yellowtails are flatfish with both eyes on one side of their heads. They are called yellowtails because their tails are yellow. Z is for zillions. That's how many fish are in the ocean. And that's the end. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. And I know that your teachers are really excited to see your alphabet books. So I hope you're having fun and let us know if you have any questions. Okay, take care everybody. Bye-bye.